everything you wanted to know about Vernix, plus how to drive away all those what if thoughts. And finally, we're gonna talk about circumcision. Yep, I'm going there. It's all in your week 30 update. Hi, I'm Genevieve Howland, best-selling author of the Mama Natural Week-by-Week -week Guide to Pregnancy and Childbirth. And if you're pregnant, be sure to sign up for my free week-by-week -week series at mamanatural.com slash updates. Each week, you'll see what's up with baby, what's up with you, and learn how to have a safe and natural pregnancy. And if you want to have your best, most natural childbirth, check out my birth course at mamanaturalbirth.com. What's up with baby? Tipping the scales at three pounds and stretching in at 16 and a half inches long, your little baby continues to bulk up. From this point forward, he'll gain about a half a pound per week. In other news, don't expect baby to come out peachy clean and fresh faced. Many babies are red. They might even be bluish. My daughter had bruises on her face. Birth is stressful. It can be intense. Many babies also emerge covered in a white creamy coating called vernix. Vernix caseosa, which true story means cheese varnish in Latin. Now your baby began producing vernix about 10 weeks ago to protect his skin from being pickled and amniotic fluid month after month. Made up of lipids, amino acids, and proteins, vernix supports good thermal regulation. It moisturizes baby's sensitive skin and helps babies slide down the birth canal during labor. Now, if you're giving birth in a hospital, your nurse or even OBGYN might want to wipe that vernix off or give baby a bath right away. Don't let them do this. You wanna rub that vernix into baby's skin because vernix is antibacterial, antimicrobial, and protects baby from pathogens inside and outside the womb. Even the World Health Organization recommends leaving the vernix alone. I have an article all about Vernix. I'll have a link to that in the video description below. What's up with mama? Congratulations, mama. You're about three quarters through your pregnancy. And if you're anything like me, you might be getting nervous about the big day. I mean, the idea of pushing something the size of a watermelon through your legs is a little bit intimidating to say the least. But your mental state is so important walking into birth. Your body knows what to do, but fearful thoughts and emotions can really get in the way. Now, I speak from experience when I say that you can drive yourself crazy with all these what ifs, but doing positive birth affirmations can change this. That's why I always end these videos with one, because you need to regularly flood your mind with positive thoughts about your pregnancy, your body, your baby, and your birth, okay? We need to work against what society says about birth, that it's scary and hard and fearful and terrifying. So I've got a post all about the power of birth affirmations in the video description below. You also can grab a deck of our popular pregnancy affirmation cards or our birth affirmation tracks. I'll have links for those below. This week's spotlight story, circumcision. Know that you're having a boy? If so, you may have given some thought to baby circumcision. Now there is a lot of misinformation surrounding routine baby circumcision. My husband and I nearly walked straight into circumcising our son, believing that it was medically necessary. Well, instead we did some research and decided to keep our son intact. Here are the two things that swayed us. One, the health benefits to circumcision are pretty flimsy. And two, the prevalence of circumcision in the U.S. is lower than we assumed. You can learn all about the facts and the myths that I did in a video. I'll have a link to that in the video description below. This week's to do, check out some breastfeeding books now. Be sure you're eating enough potassium rich foods. These can help with leg cramps, back pain, and premature labor. Great examples include coconut water, avocados, white beans, wild caught salmon, bananas, and broccoli. I love to end these weekly updates with some positivity, so I picked a card from my affirmation deck and it says, my mind is at ease. What if I have an extra long childbirth or complications arise? What if we don't get everything ready before baby comes? These sort of what ifs won't take you where you wanna go. Instead, turn things around. Childbirth will be amazing. My baby is calm and content. Breastfeeding is a joy. Focus on things that are good, gracious, and life-giving. Then watch your whole world change.
Thanks so much for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and ring that bell. Also, head on over to mamanatural.com slash updates and sign up for my free pregnancy week by week series. Each week you'll see what's up with baby, what's up with mama, and learn how to have your best, most natural pregnancy. Finally, check out the Mama Natural Birth Course. You've been told that childbirth is scary and something completely out of your control, but I'm here to tell you something different. You can rock your childbirth, and midwife Maura Winkler and I will teach you how. And join the thousands of women just like you who have joined my birth course and have had triumphant natural childbirths. Learn more at mamanaturalbirth.com.